Restricting abortions is not a jobs bill, although it really is a pity to hear pregnancy apprised by a bunch of old white guys on the House Judiciary Committee. Yeah, those kids will need care and services when the population has grown. But your logic's full of corn, because as soon as they're born, those kids will be on their own. Restricting reproductive health care is not a jobs bill, and besides it's a contradictory goal. Because if you want to cut abortions, isn't it a distortion to limit access to birth control? Unwanted pregnancies keep women in poverty, where it's a struggle just to survive. And though it makes conservatives holler, every family planning dollar saves the government more than five. Cutting food stamps is not a jobs bill, nor is slashing the capital gains tax, nor Medicaid limitations or gutting cleaner regulations. But hey, why confuse these guys with facts? Uh, their terrible track record with women is what the GOP hoped to escape. Well, they can kiss that goodbye, cause yet another clueless guy now says there's no such thing as marital rape. <laughs> Funding abortions is not a jobs bill. That logic only works when you want to keep women as beggars, always barefoot and preggers. So all the jobs will have to go to men. This GOP stance on women makes them sound like male chauvinist slobs. But if they stay on this round pretty soon, no doubt, they'll be the ones out of jobs. If your appeal to women usually bombs, you might want to stop trashing single moms. To get more votes for women, this might be the answer. Stop comparing pregnancy to cancer. If you want to put this whole war on women behind us, Get your minds on.